for your practice to obtain an observer game to build an observer model. So it, this is very easy if you just follow uh, this process uh, to do the work. It will, it will take you no time to get it. Uh, my uh, my estimation is maybe 10 to 15 minutes. You've got 7A. And then the 7B, all right, this is a uh, kind of power placement technique. Mm -hmm. And this is also very straightforward to do it. If you listen carefully about uh, my lecture, uh, and also follow the note, my lecture note, then you know how to do this very easily. All right, so this is uh, two exercises. One is observer model, and one is pole placement. And we will continue to talk about pole placement today. Okay, now let me go back to uh, homework uh, one and two. And I think the math the solution most of most of students uh, got uh, uh, correct, but physically they are not. So let me uh, just put the, uh, this. Okay, Let's, let me get the. Uh, uh, This is the solution I got from uh, my my assistant. The number one okay, that's the number one and uh, the exercise we get is, I think this is the solutions. I think the x is like a 50.01 cosine 4 pi t minus 1.551. And, and that y is cap y cosine alpha t. And I think I did not give you a cap y, did I? No. I did not. OK, that's all right. Because uh, you can assume that this this y is just like a one, and so you can look at the, this is about fifty times uh, more than the uh, original cosine omega t, and then the plot. The green color is the small x, and the uh, blue color is the blue color. Or purple color is the y. Am I right? All right. So. So if you look at this, then it will be very uncomfortable if you are if you are sitting on the mass of the top, the top mass. If you're sitting on the top uh, of the mass, then it will be very uncomfortable because this x, the amplitude is about 50 times of y. Correct. So you won't you won't feel comfortable about this. All right, let us think about that. Now, if we don't, if y is very small, assume y is very small. This y is very small, and this might, if if we don't have y, then we also don't have this zeta, and this mass is going to sit on the top of the wheel. If that's the case, then y. Uh, the x will be the same as y, correct? So that means if I don't have spring, 
also I don't have zeta, then my x uh, will be, the, the amplitude of x and y will be identical, or it's just identical. So it's one. Now if I put a spring there, I put the, uh, this uh, this part there, then if my spring is the one I put here, that means oscillate. Uh, and then oscillate with this, uh, this curve, with this wall. If I oscillate this wall, then what happened is, then I got 50 times, like that. However, now I have zeta point zero 0.08, uh, zeta point zero 0.08, but I don't see why you don't have that damping here. This zeta here. So, I think you're supposed to have a little damping for this, although it's pretty small. But I don't see it here. I don't know why. So, need to go back to check. All right? Anybody have questions? This is a challenging problem. It's not, not, not very simple. I think most of people uh, get a solution just like this. Like this. And um, it seems to me that if, it, if we supposed to have a little uh, damping somewhere, but but we don't show it here. But anyway, that's a, that's the that's the uh, homework number one. Okay, now now let's go to homework number two. If you, if you think about the physics, then you have some you might see some of the problem here. All right. Um, I don't know why we have this guy. I don't know. Something not right. Okay. Now I think most of most of students uh, get this point here. Uh, you also plot. If you plot like that, and then the conclusion will be the uh, uh, this zeta has to be large and k has to be small. Okay. Now let us look at say this large and the other small. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, look at this chart. If this k is small and this very large, what does that mean? If this is rigid and this is the mass and this is real, that means the same thing, that this man sit on the top of wheel, except now you have a, you have this, uh, 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 you have this uh, called this part here, and this part may give you a little bit distance from the wheel, that's all. So you are, you want to sit with the wheel and you move along the wheel, right? That means mass is moving the same as the wheel. wheel. That means you don't have any any damping that that that, that was you. Agree? That means this is very rigid. Zeta is very large. It's very rigid, and you don't have a spoon. So, what is the solutions? I think most of the students just say the solution is, is this. They want to be very, uh, they want to be uh, k is small and, and k is small and zeta is large. Agree? And if omega is omega, omega if, if omega is omega n, then that's the peak. Uh, with very small damping, this can be 50, 50, 50, 50 uh, uh, times larger, just like you did uh, in, the, in the homework number one. So this is like 50 times. That's no good either. So what's the solution you're supposed to? Uh, 
every time the, the message here is that uh, when you think about when you got solutions uh, the, the mathematical solutions like this you have mathematical solutions then you are the doctor of the physics you say okay now from here I think k equal to zero and, and zero, zero equal is large then y over x over y equal to one that's it right seems to be like that and that's the best solution the best the solution you can get but from the physics that means just basically you have no design of TMD. That means no design of TMD. Now here that, that means you, your TMD is, you don't need any TMD. That's what it means. So this TMD 